Hi. Well, I thought I'd show you today how well um, coconut oil works as a makeup remover. I don't always tend to wear makeup. I certainly don't tend to wear red lipstick. Um, I have to be in a particular kind of mood, and today is one of those days. I um, feel quite upbeat, happy, um, quite well today. So, um, cracked out the red lipstick again. Um, so, but I haven't used the coconut oil to get off the lipstick before, so that'll probably take quite a bit. Um, as you know, this is the coconut oil that I am using at the moment. It is raw virgin coconut oil and it's 100% pure and it's um, cold pressed as well. So this is the one that I'm using at the moment. Um, this is one that I keep downstairs for the cooking and what I did was I put a little bit in a pot here. Um, so this is the one I use for my face. You'll have to excuse me if I keep looking away because I'm not used to having the um, camera <laughs> facing this way and also because I'll need to look to see if I'm actually taking it off so please excuse me. Um, it's quite oily obviously so I don't know maybe it depends on your skin tone I find this really nice I usually use this just before I go to bed to take off makeup or just to take off any bits of bleh that I've um, picked up over the day and uh, I usually put on a little bit more as a moisturiser as well which is normally leaves my skin feeling really nice um, some people put it all over um, there's too much of me to rub on <laughs> I'd run out, I'd be going through one of these every week um, so at the moment it, I just use it on my face um, and to eat and to um, use as a hair mask as well and that makes it feel really nice though I did see I was using it as um, a conditioner as well and it does make your hair feel lovely but I was really disappointed because I bumped into a lady who uses it as a conditioner and she also leaves her hair to just dry naturally she had curly hair not as curly as mine but quite curly and um, her hair was gorgeous, it was really shiny, it was nice and thick and it just kind of went all lovely, not eh. Um, and that was just from the coconut oil. So I tried it. The first few times went really wrong because I th you really do only need as much as your fingernail and your little fingernail. And I just still, to this day, can't get my head around how such a tiny bit can go a long way. But it really can. So you don't want to make that mistake. Um, by putting too much on just before you have to go to work because if you think, especially if you work with children you're going to get away with your hair looking like that looking like it's greasy without somebody pointing it out you'd be wrong so um, I've kind of not done that yet because I'm, I'm a bit cack-handed at doing it so, but I have been using it on my face so, here it goes I think I might just try and take the lipstick off first so Ah, <laughs> uh -uh, Bobo the clown. Let's see. Ah, uh, all over me. No. Let's see. No. Okay. The thing is, though, to be fair, um, with the red lipstick, um, even the makeup removers leave your lips stained. So it's just one of those things. So probably won't get all of that off. But um. need about that much. I'll put more on but just to start with just warm it up in my hands. Don't forget your neck. <laughs> and more. The more the better. <laughs> now I've got to say um, I don't seem to be able to do this without coming away afterwards <laughs> without like a film of oil over my um, eyeballs so uh, you know either be more gentle than me or bear this in mind if you're <laughs> if you're about to drive because if I do this like now I'm doing it quite early 
so uh, I might as well write off doing any reading later on. It'd be hard enough to see the TV, even with my glasses, because I keep having to blink and I can only see clearly for about a second. But that's because I'm quite heavy handed, probably, and you know, rubbing too hard. But you know, I'm sure you'll be a lot more slow and gentle on yourself. Right, okay. So. I mean, look at that. See? That's really good. I'm sorry, I'm looking at the wrong place again, so I'm quite impressed with that. Now, obviously, there's going to be people who have got a much better routine than me and won't just go on a slapdash like I'm doing now. Um, they'll do, do it better and slower, but it really was just to give you an idea of how well it takes it off. See how gross is that? I wouldn't mind. That's tinted moisturiser and some blusher. I mean, it's only like a, a light coloured blusher, but gross, isn't it? I'm gonna put some more coconut oil on. I love the feel of it. My husband, it's really coconutty the smell. So, again, if you don't like coconuts, this isn't the one for you. Um, maybe there's another oil that you can use. It reminds me, it takes me right back to the um, late 70s for me. Um, there used to be a large outdoor um, Lido. It's massive. And uh, if we were lucky, we'd get to go and it was like a massive day out. It was only like a short bus journey away. Uh, but it was fantastic, but everybody seemed to use coconut scented um, sun cream or sun oils so to me the 70s um, if I had to put um, a smell down for the 70s for me it would be coconut um, it's funny because I've never been a coconut fan really um, but no I'm getting used to it I quite like it my husband on the other hand is taking him a bit longer especially as I'm doing this just before I go to bed um, yeah, he wasn't the biggest fan of the coconut oil smell, but he is getting better. See, that's still, still coming off. See, I haven't really done my eyes yet. It's coming, getting fluff in my eyes. Um, it's just really weird doing it like this. You know, normally I'm doing this in the privacy of the bathroom. I probably should have kept it that way. Oh. Excuse me, all my makeup faces. Sorry, I just want to check. Okay then, brace yourself. <laughs> I'm coming in for a close up, be warned. See? Excuse the zit. I haven't had a spot for years. I like this pops up as soon as I even think about doing this video. <laughs> so, never mind. Such is life, we get it now and again. Well, maybe you don't, but. Some people do. Um, I don't think that's too bad, what do you think? I mean, obviously I'm really oily now, um, which I quite like actually. I, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna leave that in and on and it'll soak up me. Some people might not, some people might prefer to be completely dry. I've got to say though, um, as it is so oily, I really wouldn't recommend doing this. Um, if you say you were going out in the evening, but you want to take you um, daytime makeup off, ready to put your evening makeup on, <laughs> really wouldn't probably bother. I mean, maybe it'll work, I don't know, maybe with a good primer underneath, but I mean, I don't know, can you see how shiny and oily my skin is? I, uh, 
I really don't, especially your mascara. I mean, I think that would just, uh, it wouldn't adhere. But, um, so there you go. Coconut oil as a um, makeup remover. Uh, raw, cold press, 100% coconut oil. <laughs> Um, like I say, just for hygiene reasons, if you're going to use it on your face as well as cooking, just maybe put a bit in a pot. Ta-da! <laughs> there you go. I don't think it's too bad. It's not bad, another use. You know, you're going to get your money's worth out of that coconut oil. And then you could have, you know, another pot for your hair. Who knows? Um, and I think it smells lovely. Bye for now. Bye.